And the two main ones are ultrasound and Doppler. And please refer, there's a video on KitKat that's with the real-time ultrasound and the use of the Doppler. Please go watch that. But we're just going to show you practically how we would use the Doppler today. Um, so the Doppler is the one where we get sound feedback. So we're going to look for a beep kind of noise depending on the Doppler. So you would um, put like a, a small blob of gel on the transducer and then we apply it to the pig. Okay, so we're going to find her the most caudal set of teeth. So that's here. And then we go to the, the, one, the second set, second most caudal set of teeth. Then with our transducer, we place it just cranial to that. And then we angle it towards the opposite shoulder. Um, so we're here on the right hand side of the pig. We're going to angle it towards the left front shoulder. Um, and we're making sure that we keep in contact with the pig's skin at all times. Um, and then you would, if there's fluid movement, you would hear the beep of the positive um, with the Doppler, and then it would show you the image on the ultrasound. With the, with the Doppler, you can first take pregnancy at 28 days of pregnancy, and with the ultrasound, the transabdominal ultrasound, you can detect it at 24 days, so, doc, so ultrasound is great. So one of the risks with the Doppler is that obviously it's detecting fluid movement. So if you find a fluid-filled pocket, it could in fact be the bladder and not uh, an amniotic sac that's pregnant inside. So the risk is that you will diagnose a positive pregnancy, however she receives birth in the bathroom. So you need to locate the bladder and make sure that you like, have the bladder's reference point and then you can start scanning to see the other fluid-filled sacs. 